Good morning. Welcome back to Smoother's Backyard. We're going on a little journey, a journey with the Jaffa. I don't think we've done a video where we've taken the caravan away. Uh, we'll show you around that in a little bit. She's all hooked up. We're idling, ready to go. Uh, we're heading out to Ninda Gully to a wedding, to a friend's wedding. Um, we're heading out to see Cheryl. Well, Cheryl's here actually. Not that Cheryl. No. Another Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl Anderson and Tex, they're muso friends of ours, and we're heading out to their wedding. I think it's a three day shindig, so it should be a lot of fun. And um, we're just gonna document it on this video along the way. We left home this morning and went down through Grafton and decided we'd go up the range up to Glen Innes. Uh, not the most direct route to Ninda Gully, but because we want to go to Moree on the way, we thought we'd take this way. And um, we've got up just up out of uh, Glen Innes, heading west now towards Warrialda, and the weather's just turned on us. So it's been a glorious day. Got a bit windy down in Grafton and on the way up, but it was still nice and sunny. And now, all of a sudden, it's uh, it's big dark clouds and. and it's just started raining, so um, oh well, it might be a wet night in Moree. <laughs> we made it to Moree, and we've uh, come and booked in, and they've told us where our spot is, and we drive around going, surely that can't be it. That, that's not a spot, is it? Apparently it is. <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. But no sooner have we pulled up and this I'm just putting the stays down on the back of the van and the fella walks up and he goes, that wouldn't be the Jaffa, would it? <laughs> Didn't know we were that famous. <laughs> Turns out these people are a relative to the wet of the people of the wedding that we're going to. So so um, Tex or Chris, who's the groom, it's his uncle, he'd seen a post on Facebook and uh, he spotted us driving in because it's hard to miss. <laughs> this is the spot we got. It's just the bit, the strip of grass, like the nature strip in here. Everyone else is on gravel. And um, they claim this to be a spot. Anyway, it's only for the night. So take it. Hey Cheryl. Yeah? What did we find when we got here? <laughs> Can't you tell by it's, looking at it's me? It's cold. It's freezing. Who said it could be cold? <laughs> I don't know if I, well, I've, I don't think I've got it in me to change into swimmers and walk over there in this freezing weather. Apparently, though, the water's like 39 degrees. Mm, yeah. So we're going to have a look. Because there were a lot of people in there, I didn't really want to go blazing in with a video camera and just filming everybody. So um, here's a nice picture from the Guida Caravan Park Thermal Pools. Hello, just wanted to share with you what we're having for dinner tonight. And um, I do canning at home and make these meals in a jar. And tonight's meal is Sloppy Joe which is basically just a meat, I don't know, stew, I suppose you'd call it. You usually have it on hamburgers. Anyway, I made this back in um, January, and even though it's meat, it can sit on your shelf for, well, up to a couple of years, probably best to be eaten within a year. And it's so easy when you pull up late in the caravan park, and the hardest part's getting the lid off. I'm gonna try this instead of a spoon and see if it works. What do you reckon, Breno? Mm -hmm. It's probably going to damage the lid a little, but it's as easy as popping the lid. <laughs> and it smells amazing, even though it's been months on the shelf. And just tip it in the pot, heat it up, dinner's done. We'll just eat this with a bit of cheese on top and just get some nacho chips and hook in tonight, I think. Out. Slide that 
heat up. We're cooking with gas. This is how you grate cheese when you don't have a cheese grater. You must buy one for the caravan. It's a cheese peeler. Cheese peeler, yeah. What a dinner. Beer, corn chips. Meat. Meat. And cheese. Sounds like a boys' night out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is living. It's easy, easy food. It's not how you're supposed to eat sloppy joes. Huh? But it works. <laughs> we couldn't be bothered. We haven't even had buns, hamburger buns. No, we've got some bread in the freezer, but you know, keep it simple, stupid. stopped and uh, stayed the night at the Guida Caravan Park, Tourist Park with the springs. Didn't really film there because there's so many people and uh, you feel a bit rare putting your camera and everyone who's in the hot springs. But Cheryl got in for a dip, I chickened out and uh, we just pulled out this morning to stop and have a look at this. Um, apparently it's a DC-3. Get over my shyness of talking in public. I'm going on the rocket. Hold my handbag and watch this. I don't know which one you're in. Ready? I think so. Are you ready? Yeah. Is that the year you said? Yeah, that's the year I said <laughs> it. Suck it for a gift at home. Vinnie's is there. Yeah. They got oh, half shop. price sale. Half price sale at, at, at Vinnie's. So she's a sucker for an off shop. So we're going go in. Home and have a look. <laughs> I'm thinking this is a jar opener that I just paid a dollar for. Oh, that was and, a half price there. Well, that's clothing, winter clothing. But you know what? I just paid $53 for a modern version of this. I could cry. <laughs> this place was built in the 1890s. Three joined shops.
interesting. Corrugated iron, louvered windows, featured turned posts and freezers. It's got all this uh, cross brace construction downstairs. Strength. Quick stop for a cuppa, coffee and some scones. I'll tell you what the coffee's like, you know. Yep. It's alright. It's not bad coffee, so that's good. <laughs> so we've just left Maury. We had a bit of a look around, a bit of a walk around town and saw some historic buildings and they had on a little tour chart thing we got and had a bit of a cuppa and went and found uh, an SD card for the camera and we got back in the car and yesterday we've been having trouble with our um, rear view monitor on the caravan there it stopped working and then it came on again and the same happened again when we got back in the car so we did a bit of researching and looking around more to see if we could get another monitor but there's nothing out here so it's working again now, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that was Maury, and we're on off to um, Mungandai right now, and probably get to Nindigully tonight, I'd say. What did you think of Maury? Yeah, I thought it was pretty nice for a um, country town. It's pretty well gentrified, more than I thought it would be, and um, yeah, quite pleasant. Nice clean little town, wasn't it? It was pretty clean, yeah. Good coffee. It was good coffee. Yeah, found a good coffee shop. Always got to hunt out the good coffee shops. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to quickly do some video before we head off because we're here. We're at, we're at Nindy Gully. Um, we're set up ish, and it's happy hour at the pub apparently, so we need to get over there real quick. So um, <laughs> it only goes for an hour. That's funny that happy hour goes for an hour. But here we are. We're right on the water. How good's that? Free camping. This door is going to do my head in. <laughs> Just saying. Um, yeah, you just, you just got to be taller. Taller and stronger. <laughs> you can't remember. <laughs> Performance anxiety Hang under on. pressure. <laughs> Your turn. There's a trick to this door, and it's I. A, it's can't a bit do funny because it. It, it needs to be pressed in. It is already up there. That has to come up. That has to go. Like that. I know, in theory. You had it. That was done. Oh, that'd be right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we we came through Warrialda. Was that what? what no. 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 More, more, no. Then what? Uh, That's another town. <laughs> Mungandai? Mungandai. Because <laughs> I wanted to stop and get a Mungandai pie, but apparently that doesn't exist. I just made it up. So Mungandai, no pies. And then there was only another 20 minutes up to here, I think. Oh, Maybe more half bad. an hour. 40 minutes. We're on Queensland time. It might have been yeah, five minutes. Across the border, so we can just go slower now. Yeah. just gonna say we were so hungry tonight that we forgot to film what we had for dinner <laughs> I was starving what, what but we it? had um, lamb chops you know little yeah um, they were so good I know they're so yeah, lamb t-bones <laughs> you got to get them crispy <clears throat> oh yeah and corn and salad coleslaw and a bit of uh, pepper jack Shiraz yeah Man, so good. <laughs> so hungry. Night one at Nindy Gully. Yeah. I can never get that out in one go. Night one at Nindy Gully. Just Nindy Gully, mate. Nindy Gully. Nindy Gully. Nind what after a few beers? It's Nindy Gully. <laughs> after a few beers, it's just where's my van? <laughs> <laughs> it's the orange one. Yes. Has anyone seen an orange van? <laughs> Give it a couple of days. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
to the end of day two at Nindagali. Didn't do a lot of filming today, just got some shots of the buildings and stuff this morning. Got the sunset over there, got the fire happening. Found a sheet of tin that we put around as a windbreak. Chairs are out, the lights on it and the barbie. Sizzle, yeah, sizzle it deluxe. It's a good little thing. I'm just steaming some veggies in there, so basically put the hot plate on low splash of water put the lid down there we go let's see what Cheryl's up to inside <clears throat> we're just having a bit of a running commentary on the meal prep tonight Cheryl Running commentary, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to run down what's happening outside, and I see something in particular is happening on the inside here. Yeah, your, your left hand seems a bit disabled. This one? No, your other left hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I can I use didn't it. Know that, I didn't know that. I didn't hear the crack of the wine ball. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on in here? Oh, tonight we got the chicken. I make it for you with love. Chicken snitty. Yeah, it's well, sort of is. It's no, it's kind of, well, it is. It's crumb chicken, but I didn't flatten it because we're camping, so it's Panko, bush chicken snitty. Panko crumb chicken. Look at that. Looks great. I know. And, um, that's just some chicken lucky. breast. But, no. uh, what do we do? Put a bit of panko bread crumbs with a bit of salt, salt and pepper, pepper and, onion powder. and a bit of onion powder. That's Which is be... a little bit different to how I make it at home. Mm. I'm not telling you what secret ingredients I use at mm. home. Mm. That's secret. That's secret. Yeah. This is the bush version. Yeah, it looks good. It does look good. Looks great. Don't burn the vegetables. All right, I'll go check on the veggies. You'll burn them. I know you will. <laughs> I didn't see you do that. <laughs> Um, yeah. I thought you were calling me to tell me you'd burnt the vegetables. No, so no, I'm they're, they're looking good. Oh, well, they're, they're there. No, yeah. that's caramelised. That's Dark good. Caramelized. Like, I don't I'll know where... I'll turn them out now and yeah, I'll, give them a Yeah, bit well, that might be a bit more than caramel. Oh, actually, you've burnt the vegetables, Brent. <laughs> caramelised. No, they're burnt. <laughs> that's on as low as it goes. So. Oh, well. Yeah. You need a bit more water? Yeah, I'll, I just did put some on, but I'll put some more on. Oh, I can't leave yeah. you. This is, like... Unorthodox way of doing veggies, by the way. <laughs> but it's how we're doing it tonight. Like a plate safety. Night two, night two, Nindagully fine dining cuisine. <laughs> Char grilled vegetables. <laughs> they look good. No, they taste really good. I tried one. Uh, try one of your char, char grilled, uh, otherwise char. known as burnt. <laughs> 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 Char steamed. Char steamed? Actually, they're not too bad, but you know what they need? Something. I reckon. I know it's going to sound weird, but how was that? You don't have to get off the chair to reach the fridge. <laughs> this is a bit of leftover dressing that came with that salad, just, just to put a drizzle on that. Yum. It needs a bit of moisture. Yeah. Do the coleslaw dressing on your, <laughs> on your char steamed veggies. Day two of the Nindagali. Well, 
Okay. How many days have we been on the road now? We left Tuesday, mm -hmm. and today's Thursday. Mm -hmm. so it's day three. Um, second night at Nindagali. Today we went for a bit of a drive to St George. <coughs> did a, got a few little things that we wanted at the shop. Um, we didn't have any phone service out here whatsoever. Aldi Mobile doesn't work at Nindagali. We went into St George and got a few little grocery items and a boost SIM card, which we quickly, you know, hooked up, activated. It took about two hours. <laughs> What's I was thinking, what do you mean quickly? Two uh, hours later. <laughs> it was just crazy. I was like, this should be so simple. Like, everything should just, but yeah, it didn't, nothing went to plan. It's because we're over 50, that's all uh, I'm saying. No. Bloody technology. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we got it there. So we now... We just, we just spoke to the kids on um, Facebook. Messenger, Facebook, oh. uh, Facebook Messenger video chat. So that was good. The boys are at home, fending for themselves and doing superbly by the sounds of things. So that's all right. We had a chat to Larry, our daughter as well, in Tassie. And um, tomorrow is the big day. It's um, well, Sh Cheryl, the bride, not this Cheryl, our friend Cheryl. She turned up today, um, they're staying at the actual pub, and we caught up with her quickly, briefly, and she's all uh, flustered. <laughs> but, I offered to help. But have... ready, but ready for a, a, a big shindig for the uh, Cheryl and Texas Nindigala bush, bush wedding. Um, she really doesn't know what's going to what to expect. I think she put the word out to open in invitations. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how many people are going to turn up, but uh, it should be a good time anyway. Mm. Yeah, so that's tomorrow. Day three at the Ninda Gully pub. I reckon it's day one of shenanigans. We've got uh, the bride and groom have arrived yesterday, and um, today they're setting up to do a little bit of filmmaking. Gonna film a bit of a video clip here for one of the songs that Cheryl's putting on her new album. Cheryl Anderson of Anderson Lane. Well, that big thing. Well, Cheryl's not going down there. I am not going down here. I would not want to film clip for me. Oh, okay. Smoking on camera. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, great woman. I'm gonna get cobwebs everywhere. Good morning, backyard. Welcome. How are you, mate? Good. There's an outback pub in Queensland, just past St. George, they say, with a sign out front that 
Reads in gold, get free beer yesterday. Shadow stuff. Just going to go for a wander down here, check out the weir. Into Gully pubs on the Mooney River. There's a bit of a weir that dams the water up and makes it a bit of a wide, broad water there in front of the pub. Cheryl was just saying this would be a good camping spot if we come back next time. But, uh, we've got a fire pit and tables and chairs and, and some gum trees and whatnot. Happening. Ah, the wedding of the year at the Nindagilly pub, Nindagully even, Jesus. <laughs> Nindagilly. Might have had a few sherbets <laughs> between now and when I last spoke to you. <laughs> we got all spruced up, had a shower, yeah. got some good clobber, and uh, heading on up to the shindig. The wedding of the cent uh, the, what is it what's she calling it? Wedding the, um, of the year or something. The yeah. no, the um, celebrity wedding oh, of the yeah. year. Because oh. it's it's Anderson Lane. They're yeah. a band. Well they're they're a couple. And uh, they get married. Yeah. And that's what we're doing out here. Yeah. Here for the wedding. But <clears throat> as musos, they're making music as well doing video clips and all that sort of thing so first time I've ever taken a pumpkin along as a wedding gift <laughs> it why, was a special why, request hey? <laughs> that's right <laughs> homegrown pumpkins and preserves as Cheryl, a wedding gift <laughs> Cheryl Anderson asked Cheryl Smoother for a pumpkin and home <laughs> preserves for a wedding gift so that's what she's getting that's what she's getting no, she's getting the fact that we're here too <laughs> <laughs> she should be pri feel privileged about that. You know. It's a long way to come for a wedding. That is. But it's a bloody good excuse to come out here. Oh.
welcome everyone. Just making sure before we do this handover here, who gives this beautiful bride to this very lucky groom? <laughs> 